out Tiana Gaston. Where did she learn those moves? Oh, getting down with it, huh? Jiggy, as some would say. <laughs> did she learn them from Vic Schaefer? Maybe. He's Corey Mose. He's always got the moves. I'm Tyler Feldman. We're inside the Moody Center. A busy day on the 40 acres. The San Antonio Spurs, they just finished up their I-35 series here in Austin. And it was also Selection Sunday. Corey, you were at both the men's selection show and the women's selection show for the Longhorns. How about we start with the ladies? Yeah, it was electric over there. Over 100 people were in attendance cheering on the ladies, hoping to get that number one seed because, of course, it wasn't a foregone conclusion. It was either going to be between Stanford or Texas for that last number one seed. And as you saw in the video, they got what they wanted. Now, the Longhorns are repping burnt orange today, but they still had the luck of the Irish to get that number one seed. And you can hear from the ladies and Coach Vic about how important it was to get that position. You want to be one of those four teams up on the up on the board that has the one next to you. That's a, it's a great accomplishment. I was extremely happy. Uh, you know, there's a lot of talk about us being a two seed. Um, just seeing us get one seed just shows how much like we worked for that. This is really exciting. I've been here three years, first time we're a one seed. And I just know the hard work that this team has put in. So I'm just, I'm so excited. Like I feel like I can go play a game right now. Like I'm ready to go. It's pretty surreal, honestly. Like just letting it all sink in. But yeah, I think this whole team, whether they're from here or not, um, I think everyone is just as excited as I am. My message to them is, ladies, I want to play six more games. That's my thought, that's my focus, one game at a time. But that's our goal right now in that locker room is six more. So you heard Coach say it right there, six more games is the goal for this team. And their first game will be against Drexel, and then after that, they're also in the region with Alabama and Florida State. They will all play here at the Moody Center for the first two rounds of the tournament. But man, they got a great draw, and I can't wait to see how far they go. We'll have all the coverage for those matchups. And Corey, I will say, not shocked that the ladies are in the one seed. A little bit surprised, but they won the Big 12 tournament. They proved a lot of people wrong. And as Vic said earlier this season, they ain't done. Yeah. They ain't done. And neither are the men, for that matter. The Texas Longhorns, Rodney Terry, big question mark, where were they going to end up? A seven seed in the South region. They'll be going to Charlotte, and they'll be taking on the winner of UVA and Colorado State, one of those first four games. What do we think about the men? What do you feel from that watch party? Yeah, that watch party, uh, kind of a different tone and a mood, more business type I guess you could say energy there. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, you love that. You love that. So, of course, afterwards, learning that they're going to play either Virginia or Colorado State in that first-round matchup, all eyes pointed towards center Caden Shedrick because that's where Caden just transferred from, was from Virginia. And as you see in this video, you can tell he was already getting a phone call the moment that they got the news that Virginia could be the first-round matchup. But even Coach Terry talked about if they were to play Virginia, they have an inside look on that scouting report with a player on their team. <laughs> You know what, good Lord bless. You know, we'll deal with that when, when the opportunity presents itself. He'll be very familiar with those guys, though. I mean, he knows, obviously, you know, that he, he was a part of a great defensive program there while he was there. So you just got to be blessed and say, man, thank God that we're in the tournament and we have another opportunity to, uh, to go out and uh, try to play our best in basketball. So unlike the women, we actually do know when the men will be playing. It'll be Thursday at 550 in Charlotte, North Carolina. The Longhorns will try to be the king in the Queen City. 